Hey guys, check out realfactory.com and use Owen FIFA at checkout for a discount. We do everything guys, comfort trade and um, player trades, everything like that. Look if you see here, all for a great price. Um, they do lots of different prices of coins, so a million, 100k, whatever you want. And all the players like De Bruyne inform, all the team of the year, stuff like that. And also guys, you do have a 24-7 support series where you can even look at your tickets that you've bought. There's sort of chat option and loads of different questions and answers, so you'll have no problems at all. But yeah guys, check out Mule Factory and use Owen FIFA at Hey guys, what's going on host and welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today is going to be a really different sort of thing, basically to go to the end of FIFA or maybe there'll be a couple of these challenges to the end of FIFA but career mode is now, uh, oh my team is now dead so career mode is where we're going to be going with this. So we're going to start a career, um, we'll just click any on, so we're going to be simming the games other than like the Champions League final, maybe something like that, we might play it, but yeah they're going to all be long episodes, like hopefully around 15-20 minutes an episode, we're going to be starting as you can see by the title, really low down and we're going to go for a club which obviously were relegated um, or should have been relegated at the end of last season but we um, are going to go with Stevenage and try and get them up to the Prem so that's the plan it might take 10 years it might take well like, I don't know it could take the whole of the um, career mode like I don't know about that but um, yeah so we're going to basically be trying to sign players through the youth I think really but we are going to obviously pick stuff up as well if we need to um, that's the plan anyway so um We'll see how that goes, but yeah, we're going to get it started here. I'm going to load it up, and um, yeah, I might do one on stream as well. So if you want to see the same sort of thing on stream, I'll do a separate career mode where I do the same thing, but through a live stream. Or I might just play FM on stream. If you want to come and check them out, guys, obviously come and see it down below in the description. I'm going to try and get one out every couple of days. I can't promise how often they'll be, but um, yeah, it just depends really on how motivated I am to do it. But I mean, it's something I really enjoy, something like this. I mean... These are the sort of, um, basically the sort of challenges that I like to do, because I do like career mode a lot. I mean, I know I'm a FIFA trader, really, by um, most standards, but, um, yeah, it really, career mode is one of the things that I love doing, like, when I'm away from trading, like, a lot of people go and play other games or something, but, um, I like just going and doing something like this. We're going to go for the crappiest one, because... Sometimes when you do this, it means we get to play crap teams and actually win it, whereas we'll do the best one and probably get knocked out to a load of crap. But um, you can see about the team here, the team is quite good in a way. Um, there's a lot of players that are just out of position, but I don't know what's going on here. So we'll set up the best squad now, and then, um, yeah, so this guy can play on the wing, that's decent. Uh, Denton's just chilling for some. Paul Digby there as well, James Weldon. Paul Farman's good. This guy's definitely not playing up front. They're both quite old. They're all old, let's be real. So we're going to go with Taylor for this season. I'm not bothered this season about already signing any. Wait. Is that 64? Um, we'll get him on the bench. Depending on his age, he's th yeah, we'll leave him on the bench because this guy is only young. Old diggers. We'll leave him there. Um, but yeah, so now what we're going to do is this season is just literally chill. This is fine now. We're not asked about any transfers, anything like that. But then we're going to go to the U stuff, obviously, and just see what's going on in here. We're going to hire a scout. So we're going to go and hire the crap one. Um, and then another crap one in Brankovic. And then we're also going to go and get one. Yeah, why not? We'll go and get a decent one. So we'll set them up here now, we'll send this guy off to, where should we go, should we go Ireland, mm, maybe not, should we go England maybe, yeah let's take him to England, we'll send this guy out to, let's go somewhere weird, let's send him out to Australia, let's see what he can do in Australia, we'll send him off there for 6 months and then we'll send one off to the US of A for another 90k, there we go. So hopefully we do have that. We do have the money for that. Just I mean, there's not much wage budget left, but we might get in some transfer offers, something like that, for a few upcoming players. So we're going to skip these games now. Hopefully we'll get some money out of these as well. We'll just sim past all this crap because I'm not really bothered about um, any of the friendlies, anything like that. The first day always takes ages, and the first couple of days take ages. So yeah, um, obviously I won't speed anything up. It's all live, so. Um, Obviously, it's a proper full in-depth career, but um, we'll try and move on. Um, we'll go here to the last game here, um, uh, Cincenti or whatever it is, and we'll see what we've done. We've lost, we got battered, and we got battered. So it's over, basically. Um, there's no really coming back from this as such. So 
So guys, for some reason, there's some idiot started streaming outside, so I had to go and quickly shut the window. <laughs> um, I'm leaving it all live and everything, because why not? I mean, we might as well. Like, it's a live video. I'm not trying to do anything different to that, so you can see it's all legit. But yeah, so, they literally got battered in that, so that's a bit pointless. But yeah, Cuthbert, um, 216,000 for that. Um, they're setting up all the scouts. Um, there's nothing really of any use there. Cuthbert's old, but he's not worth selling this season because obviously, um, to be honest with you, um, he's a good player. Sanupe, I mean, this is like, we don't need the funds. Like We're not bothered this season. We're just going to build up our players. They hopefully will be coming in very soon and um, see what happens. But I'm going to aim to get out of League 2 within two seasons. So this first season is going to just be a probably a mess is that <laughs> probably fair to say it's going to be a mess because th this is the worst team in league two i don't expect to get anywhere in the league whatsoever we're just going to play it out and see what happens um obviously the scouts over time will get these better players in they'll all start improving and we'll have an unreal team and then when we get into the big league we'll hopefully be able to buy a few players um i'm going to try and save the budget up though each season so we have loads farming here definitely not um He's a solid League 2 keeper, so we don't want to get rid of him. But the idea for this first video is to get through the transfer window and get a few games out of the way. And then I'm probably going to record like three videos back to back, so they're all ready. Because um, I do probably bash through like a whole season, like right now. But um, yeah, we'll see about that. Um, hopefully they'll be out daily. I mean, here we go. Here comes the fun. So 70 to 94. There we go. And that guy's crap, so we'll ignore him. And then we'll go here again. We'll take him. Um, not really bothered about these. It'll take them three, four years to get up to speed, and by the time that has happened, they won't be good enough anyway, and that'll be when they peak. So it's pointless getting them in. Again, not really good enough. But we'll take him because he could be good, and he's a goalkeeper, so that could be handy as well. Um, but yeah, we'll take them on board, and then we'll go up to our first game against Salford City here, and we'll just leave it there a second. Now we're quickly going to go and just see the youth squad. And see quickly, and um, that's the wrong one, it's the one after, I think. Um, yeah, the Youth Academy, and you can see here they're all eligible to play now, so we're going to promote them all into the main team, um, and we're going to train their asses off them now. I mean, there's a couple of goalkeepers, which obviously we can sell on as well at some point for a profit, if not. But you can see Salford there, we're going to have to play the game first before we start training them. I expect probably to lose to Salford, I mean, these are one of the probably the favourite teams to go up, so if we get a win here, we're flying. And yes, yeah, a 2-0 loss, Elliot and uh, Alex Hunter there, so yeah. And I'm not trolling that actually is an Alex Hunter, it's not the Alex Hunter though that everyone probably knows. So, we'll check the goalkeepers now, we've got Farman, this guy, we're going to leave him there, we're going to go with this guy to train, this guy looks like the one we can quickly get up to speed and get him to the first team within probably a few months, that's the target. And then we also have, well, I don't know what else we had now, let me have a look, um, none of those guys, he's not one, Morris is, Griffiths is, again we'll take Morris on because at the moment it, I want quick results, like I need players to be up to their best pretty quick and I think there was somebody else wasn't there but we'll deal with that in a minute um, Leslie Griffiths so Morris there's two goalkeepers and two left mids but I'm going to try and take this other guy and he might 6 foot 2 Jesus 6 foot 2 I mean we could even get him playing up front or on the wing what should we get him going with sprint speed and agility speed and agility that'll be perfect and there we go Morris is already um moving up a rating so these guys will be in the team pretty fast I imagine like it shouldn't take long at all um the pack EF is 20 minutes each and um because if not I'm going to end up with a really really long time loading the videos I won't be out for hours because I'll be sat taking the graphics on loan it's pointless because he won't play and he'll just sit there rotting it's like just a pretty pointless um, idea so I'm going to leave him in our team and just let him train up for the next couple of seasons and he might come on the bench ready for League 1 or something depending on what else we get through obviously um, in the next month of scouting reports so we go to Exeter next I mean again I'm probably hoping to get a draw at the best and probably won't even get a draw we win that okay um, that's unexpected but we'll take that I mean if we can get a mid table finish this first season oh shit <laughs> Swansea, right, this will be a very, very interesting game, 
uh, if you win this then I'm ending the career mode, we've completed it. But the keeper's up again, 56 now, that's really good, um, he's a long way up 56 as well. This keeper will be in goal probably by the end of September, um, it's probably when we'll put him into the team. Um, yeah, we go to Swansea, so it's going to be a difficult game, um, especially at Swansea. I can't see much hope going on here in terms of um, wins, but let's see what happens. 4-0 will be respectable. If we score, it'll be scenes. Um, but, yeah, let's hope we just get a draw and a replay. Um, but that's a good result. We did well there. I mean, the Hoover striker is Yu Jung Am. But, um, yeah, we've done well there. I mean, we're going to Orient next, so this could be a very... This is a big game again, really. Like, again, this could be a team that they got hammered by Leeds 5 0. So that puts us in good stead, really, if we only lost 1 0. And it's a decent. DB got straight red carded. Um, it's interesting. Lee Angle scored for them. Um, old Mansfield player. Um, but yeah, you can see as well, just by them being in the youth, is Griffiths and West, they've all gone up a rating this time. So that's really good. We'll be flying. Did he go up two? What the hell happened there? Wilson. 57 now, right, we'll get him into the squad soon, because I can deal with being a couple of ratings less than farm probably, because this season it, we know we aren't going up, Luther James, this is a good talent as well, Luther James Weldon, we won't be selling him anytime soon, sorry for the background noise, of course, conveniently the second I start recording, a guy with a strimmer and a lawnmower decides to start hammering everything, um, but yeah, let's just deal with that, sorry, it won't happen for the second episode, I'll make sure that he's definitely gone, Bradford are probably favourites to go up out of this league, um, and we'll see what we do with them, and we lose 1-0, I mean, it's again just respectable, whatever, we'll move on, and we've got a big game next against the greatest club in the whole league, so um, yeah, hopefully we lose this game up the Mansfield, um, no, but to be honest with you, away at Mansfield, have they got any good players in, let's have a look, Fucking five at the back, five two one two. Two one CJ Hamilton who's left the club has scored both. Nice. So yeah, there's literally he's left Mansfield now and he's scored two. So that's great. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. And James Wilde in Leeds. I think people start to realise this guy's a good player and there's no way he's going from our team. Um he's only twenty one, so this could be one for the next couple of seasons if you don't get a right back in. Um, anytime soon, but um, no new items there. There might be some training to do though, there is, and we'll see what we can do with the training. 58 rated Wilson now, I mean, <laughs> this is um, really, really good news. Wilson keeps going up. Hopefully, he's decent height as well, because I can't be, I think he's like six foot, so at least, hopefully, because if we end up having to play like a Champions League game, like the final or whatever, if we get to any finals we'll play it basically, that's how it works, and I'm not stopping until I've won every trophy, so we have to win the FA Cup, Cup is it Carabao Cup, Premier League and the Champions League, so that's how it works, um, so yeah we have to win all of those to finish the series, so it should be a decent series, I mean, I don't know how long it'll take as such, it might not take that long, but a 0-0 draw, and I think they missed the penalty right at the end, so that's decent news. Um, we didn't end up too badly there. I can't be really wasting time through this because I know there's nobody that's going to sign. So we're just going to move it to here. We'll just halt it straight away. We've played Macclesfield. We come out of that. And we have five messages. Um, someone's complaining about uh, not playing. Don't overreact. That's just triggered him more. Um, this guy. A definite signing. Um, can you play anywhere? Let's go. Well, no, I'm not having him because he's not an 80 is not good enough, and that's rubbish. That's rubbish. Mm, we'll take him, we'll take him, and what we'll, goalkeeper? I'm not bothered. We've got enough goalkeepers now, so the scouting of goalkeepers is over. Um, 62 to 86 is 6 foot. He might be a good sub. Um, seven, a goalkeeper again. They look, they love a goalkeeper, but we don't need any more goalkeepers. So I'm gonna leave that. We'll leave them in the youth thing for the next. Oh, I did do the training, but it doesn't matter. We'll do it after this. The leasing.com trophy, absolutely wild. Is the leasing.com trophy, and we've unfortunately won in it. So um, yeah, we'll be. Going into the next part of the leasing.com trophy. What an absolute treat. 
Um, we get Morris again here. Wilson's very close to going. I'm probably going to end up going up two ratings or something next time. He's going to have four stats that go up next time, which is great news. Um, Amond is a top scorer in the league. We're always going to have nobody there. But Cheltenham next. Cheltenham could be an interesting game. One of them ones that is either going to where we we should get. God, they're on form actually. This could be bad. They must have a decent cider um, on this game. Uh, we get a draw, which is really good. Mackel Smith again here. I might start playing him because he's scored a few now. Um, he might deserve a game. But yeah, we're going to go and put in this Wilson now because I feel like he's definitely reached. The standard to come and play in our main team is 59 rated he's on fire every week so we're gonna go and put him in we'll get rid of Farman put him on the bench um, thank him for all his hard efforts six foot three as well lovely um, he'll no doubt be up to speed very soon and you know what let's just go and put Morris in as well because why not oh he's young Oh, they're both young. We'll leave Morris for now because they could be two that sell on for pretty good prices. Um, and then we had Griffiths, who's a five star weak foot somehow. And this guy is 16, who we're slowly trading up as well. Let's just see what else we had going on because we made some more youth. And then we're going to go and do a couple more games and we're going to end it for the first episode. Um, Louis Sibley there. Um, what a baller. Um, but no. We've got Peter Kelly who's slowly going up, a nice centre back, yes Brandon Hill, in you go son. A right mid, 65 rated right mid, okay. We'll take that, we'll get him straight in the team. I'm going to swap this team round as well, to the point of where it goes, these go back a little bit. That's too far there, and we'll put him there, and we'll get rid of Dabo and put in... Davies, you can play Cam, and um, we'll play him as a Cam for now. Um, we'll play him there, and then we had the centre back as well. Somewhere we need to. I'm gonna probably go for him at Hill there. We'll leave him for now um, to train himself up pretty soon. We might get Griffiths out of the um, training and put in Hill. I feel like that could be a shout. Um, I'll go and do that now after this game, we'll play Carlisle and then I'm going to go and release a few players as well that are just pointless in the club because there's too many players in the bit and some aren't going to sell for anything so I'm going to get rid of the rubbish we get battered by Carlisle, McCurdy both goals there um, but yeah Griffiths is going up but he's only 50 rated and why use that slot on him when we can get a good little centre back up and running uh, he's 6 foot as well so he could end up quite decent like, um, Wilson and Morris both going up which is nice so Morris can hopefully keep going up and maybe hit the 60s, 62s in a couple of months time um, he's flying up pretty well this is going to be our last game of the episode 9 games played which is pretty decent we'll make it 10 actually, we'll play one more after this. Northampton haven't won a game in 3 at least it's probably more and we get a draw uh, List uh, scored the goal uh, but more on equal eyes so that's a shame um, but that doesn't matter too much. We'll go to Forest Green, 20th in the league. I mean, no, not doing bad. We'll play Forest Green, do the training, and then we'll end it there for this one. Um, but first of all, we'll just go to the squad hub, and we'll just see what is happening in here with a few of these older lot, like Mackel Smith. He's on loan. We'll just get rid of him, because he scored a couple, yeah, but he's crap. Um, Byron, Simeon, Jackson. We'll just add, we'll just add these to the transfer list, because... They're all that old. I mean, 35, what use is he? We'll go to the rating part now and get rid of people like this. They're 25 and 57. Like, 23 and 59. Can't afford to even release him. That's always good. But in January, we'll have a massive clear out, basically. But Mackel Smith can um, go often again. There we go. And we'll play Forest Green now and we'll see what's going on here when we play Forest Green. See if we get a point out of them which would be good we win parrot squad that's nice clean sheet for wilson as well which is always happy days um we'll go in here we'll do the um training they'll all move up closer to their next rating but won't quite make it 
Hill not quite getting anywhere near it, but Wilson did. Um, guys, thanks for watching this episode. I'll be back tomorrow with another one of these. This first one should be out hopefully on Wednesday. Um, I'm going to try and keep getting them out for you daily, if not every two days. Um, let me know what you prefer if you want one daily or every two, because I suppose it's quite a lot to watch, isn't it? 20 minutes a day. So let me know if you do want to see more, and I will let you know going below with a schedule. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all.